There is Mr. Semi Sagan, our ladies and gentlemen, and I'm Robert Byrne, and I'm here in the booth with Dino Andrews, and we're going to see an exhibition from <laughs> the great Turkish master, who is not only a fabulous trick shot shooter, but a master of the game. He has uh, consented to show a little exhibition of uh, straight billiards here at my request. This is an art form that is practically lost in the United States. And uh, we had don't have a tape in which to uh, teach the game. So he is going to show how you keep the balls on the rail and make practically an unlimited number of points. Have you seen uh, this done much in Chicago? Uh, very few people in this country play straight rail, but I've decided to pick up the game and play it a little bit. And so this is going to be very interesting for me to see. I, I try it every once in a while. It's lots of fun to play, and it's, it's very hard to... Uh, play it well. Yeah. Th this is not the kind of cloth they normally use because it's too fast. Now he has to drive one ball around the co or all the way around the table and bring it back to the red. The idea here is the control of speed so you have another easy shot. That wasn't bad, was it? Okay. Well, now right, now he has to shoot a mass a. here. <laughs> okay. Let's see if he's got something here. Beautiful. All right, there we go. So now he's in perfect position again. And uh, not perfect. He doesn't like this too much, but you can tell he's been playing three cushion. He's hitting the balls pretty hard. He's been, you know, he's yes. three cushion stroke. He can't really keep the balls. Now he's using this PK stroke to take some speed off the object ball so that uh, he can draw without using a lot of force. That brings both balls back. A draw with the regular level cue would have been uh, too fast on the cue ball. He's going to have to mass A again because they lined up straight. Oh, he's going to try a little nip, nip draw. So now, now he has the balls out in the open table, which is not the best position. He has to figure out a way to uh, get them back against the rail. <laughs> oh, you, you told me you haven't missed the shots yet? Yeah. This technique is uh, worth studying for anybody who wants to try this game, which is really a great game. Welker Cochran thought it was harder than three cushion because you have to be a master of all kinds of masse and all kinds of uh, speed and bridge positions and cue elevations, and there's a lot of knowledge in um, the in-between shots, how to set yourself up so that the next shot can be a gather shot. See, look at this. Now he's getting him back on the rail again. Okay. Yes, this game okay, is that's, a, that's fine. This game is much more difficult to play. I think he's right than three cushion. In three cushion, there's so many big targets to shoot at. You know, your target sometimes three, four feet wide. No. Well, here we go. Okay, here we go. This is a cue. <laughs> one rail, two, three, four. Okay, this is a nice little draw. Yeah, this is just a straight draw shot to get a number of rails. One. I got him come back. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> first try. To do that on the first shot. He is one of the best uh, artistic billiard players in the world. Uh, and it's amazing that a player with a stroke like this can also play world-class competitive three cushion. Yeah, it's a specialty. It's very rare, it's very rare. And it, it really shows in his game. I've noticed, I've watched all of his games and he likes to play a lot of, uh, a lot of trick shots in his games, a lot of big stroke can shots. Can watch this stroke shot? That's Sonny Cho. Who this is called there. the double draw. It's going to double draw on the rail. One. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> but he did get the action, even though he didn't make the shot. Oh, <laughs> he got a little too much there. Well, in European artistic competition, he's got one more try at this shot. Yes, in the in the competitive situation, they give you three chances to make this. I don't know if this is. I don't think this is one in the program, is it? It may be. I think. Uh, one, two. Gee, oh. sure gets a lot of action. 
I'm gonna try it one more try time. It. No, I think he's gonna All try right. something different. Okay. Yeah. This I didn't try uh, before. Okay. No. That means that he's I gonna draw to back off the yellow <laughs> into a natural, like we would shoot it if we were the yellow ball. This is an excellent yeah, shot. This is drawback. <laughs> <laughs> he's quite a showman. And he's a dramatic looking guy. I think he's got a Watch great the action on this ball. Oh, well, that, uh, that, that doesn't help. That's a fusel, they used to call yeah. it. But to draw with lower right. Well, he's having a little trouble with his tip. If you notice what's so advanced about his stroke, no matter how fast he's stroking the cue, watch how his Q-tip is always at the exact same spot on the cue ball. Mm -hmm. Always, every time. I mean, watch, watch this, it's perfect. It never moves. Look at that action. <laughs> there he made it. <laughs> But that's unbelievable to get that kind of draw action with reverse. Okay, he's going to shoot it one more time. He really wants to make it. This is that usually draw around the obstacle. Usually the uh, artistic billiard player goes over here, but one this way. But he's going to try from here. Four curving, one, two, and three. Sonny Cho explains that he has to draw around the obstacle and then back for three rails. This guy was practically unknown three years ago, even two years ago. He's, he's burst on the scene from Turkey and has a fabulous stroke, as you can see. There we go. Oh. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> hey, he shoots these with such a plum and with such uh, casualness. Yeah. I was talking to him, and a very interesting thing is he learned these shots on his own. He had no artistic teacher. Oh gosh, how could he do that? He just played and played and played until he made the shots. Watch this, he's gonna, he's gonna draw behind the red ball and back around the table. This is an unbelievable shot. Everybody shoots this with the red ball at about a diamond and a half. He does this. <laughs> it's fine. There's barely enough room to get in this. Watch this. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my gosh, how the hell did he do that? <laughs> Look at this guy. How's the speed? <laughs> How's the speed? That is unbelievable to do that on, to do it at all, but to do it on the first try. <laughs> yeah, he loves it. It's his favorite shot. It's just incredible. Look at that, he's, he's left himself. I look at Sonny Cho is stunned and doesn't know what the idea is. So the idea here is to draw and not get the kiss, I guess. Oh, he has terrific uh, accuracy on that. Yeah, he's, uh, <laughs> and he, yeah, he's <laughs> really, he actually really enjoys this more than playing three cushion. I was, uh, I had Sonny's job in the exhibition mm -hmm. earlier in the week, and uh, he walked up to me before the exhibition. He goes, I can't wait. I just can't <laughs> wait to do this. That, that's really great to hear because, oh, my gosh, this is a force follow. One, two, three. No, 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 no. no he's going to no. draw. Oh, 
Oh, oh, he's going to just... Instead of touching over here, now he's going to go this way first. Two, three, four air Oh, oh there's a little he, he had the action there. Yeah, he, he hit that good. The confidence he fires through these balls oh, is unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, look at this stroke with the Watch foul. Watch him go right through. Open hand bridge. Whoa! <laughs> Perfect. Fabulous. Unbelievable. What tremendous uh, accuracy to do these without a lot of tries. Very close, huh? Very close to the red ball, he wants to emphasize. I think this is a straight drawback and then yeah. two rails. <laughs> Sonny's having a lot of fun out there. <laughs> Sonny looks like he's working harder than Sonny. Watch how he just right through this ball like it's not even there. Oh, there's a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very good. Yeah, I can't help applauding myself. Okay. It's more for it then. Very small. Okay. Usually they do it like a little openly. This is very close to together and it, it makes very tougher to make this failure, but he's gonna make one, two, three, three. Oh boy, a forest foul right there. Stay in the close up. One, two, ah! <laughs> <laughs> and to think that this guy with this stroke just yesterday set a new American record for the best game, fifty points in fourteen innings. I was very lucky to be the referee for that game. It was, uh, I don't think I'll ever forget that. He had a 14 inning game, only two innings he didn't score in. Yeah. So 12 out of the 14 innings he scored. <laughs> <laughs> he got the right action every time on that. And uh, I'll tell you, he shot plenty of trick shots in that game. <laughs> plenty of them. He is not. Those, those watching this tape, we have that game on tape. Yeah, it's, it was a great tape. Oh, this is easy. <laughs> He's going to draw the ball off the white. This is the most unbelievable shot he does. One. It doesn't look as impressive as other shots, but the skill it takes to, to hit this ball and draw it from there and come around the table, it's nearly oh impossible. <laughs> okay, look at He made this last earlier in the week and saying look, look how close yeah. he is. Wow. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Sangley really? stood up when he made it last week and said, impossible, impossible. Said he's the only one on the planet that can make that shot. I believe it. Honest to God, how about that? Now we're going to, we're, we're for a big treat now, see some Massé. So he brings out his... Uh, Notice his Massé cue is a lot shorter. And the shaft is very short. Mm -hmm. Short and, uh, and stiff and yeah. big and it, tip. It weighs about 25 ounces. I was, really? I was looking at it the other day. The tip is probably 14 or 15 uh, Actually, the, the tip is only 13 millimeters really? on his cue. Nope. He's, he prefers a, a little smaller little smaller Q-tip for some reason. Over here? Stop here. Over here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his stroke. <laughs> <laughs> well, he makes him on the first try. It's unbelievable. I, I've never seen... This is an excellent Massé. Massé down the, the rail, and then you just barely catch that ball. As soon as it touches that ball, it fires mm -hmm. back towards the red. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that fight in that rail? Because it was loud about an inch away from the rail, yep. not, not real close. Gee, this the spin is, is unbelievable. He could put on this ball. 
Now this is an excellent shot. He's going to shoot down to the middle of the end rail, and then mm -hmm. he's going to curve around into a right. natural. This is called the Grand Massé, and it's one of the figures in the uh, official program when they have this as a competitive event. It's supposed to be a great event to watch. Uh, it's usually in Europe. Artistic billiards, and uh, they give those shots uh, degrees of difficulty. Right. I guess yeah, an 11 is the hardest. Right. You get three chances to make it. <laughs> Notice how he uses this free form. He, he puts his hand on his on his body because he really has to nail this one. <laughs> this one's a little short. Uh, maybe. It's working. It's working. I thought he missed it by a mile, but then it took about six eight feet down yeah. the table. <laughs> oh, <geez>. Watch the <laughs> kiss. <laughs> huh? Oh my god. <laughs> Damn, no Beautiful. This is another masse, isn't it? We're yes, this he's, he's going to masse to the middle of the long rail on the left uh -huh. and then draw back up to the top rail into a natural. I this believe this is the one where you have to hit the first rail beyond halfway up. Right. This shot actually, for me, in my opinion, is more impressive than the last one he shot. This one looks, uh, this one looks much prettier. You really get to see how the ball just swoops. Let's keep on the uh, entire table at once on this shot, guys. It's better to see the whole action there, like that. <laughs> what a great shot. <laughs> And position, right? <laughs> yeah, position. Yeah, Eddie Robin would play position. On Absolutely, the that's the shot. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great shot. Most people only get four or six rails in the mm -hmm. corner here. Semi Saginier is going to get eight or nine rails minimum. Hey, Mike. Mike, I can't see. <laughs> Now this shot was done by Cho Chung Sip at this tournament. Watch the action. Oh. A little weak he hit that one. Like this shot is on the end of uh, one of my, my trick shots tapes. I've seen that. Oh my god. <laughs> I think you got eight there. It looks like a magnet. You know that? I can't wait to watch the video so I can see that yes. in slow motion and see how many you got. Had to get it. Uh oh. He's bringing out the plastic. <laughs> this is a beautiful shot. He's going to make a 90 degree masse and go behind the plastic and score the straight rail billiard. Yeah, this is considered an 11 in the, yes. in the competition. He masses from there. His cubo is gonna travel. <laughs> <laughs> this is considered the hardest one in the competition. Oh, he puts it right on the cushion. Doesn't even yeah. chalk up. That's very, very difficult. He's going to make it now. <laughs> as soon as he bets coffee with Sang Lee, <laughs> he's going to make it. Every time last week, Sang Lee owed him like a half a gallon of coffee by the end of the exhibition. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now he's warmed up. Almost. Close enough. Oh, close enough. <laughs> good shot. Back to the regular queue. This is an interesting shot. 
and it's uh, also a very popular shot with my teacher, George Ashby. Hmm. Six balls. He's going to shoot them around the table, five rails, and all the balls are going to end up in the corner oh. at about a diamond and a half. And he's going to make a little line with the chalk. And all of those balls going to be in this corner of the area with this ball shoot. This now is a con speed exhibition. Huh? Yes. Now watch how these balls just follow each other on the same track. It's beautiful. <laughs> Look at them all coming. <laughs> he missed one ball. <laughs> oh. Very bad ball. <laughs> oh, he's the most confident yeah. trick shot shooter I've oh, ever seen. Yeah. For the for the um, monster high difficulty shots. I'll tell you, I would love to see a trick shot. Round robin exhibition with him, Roberto Rojas, Marcelo Lopez. Yes, that would be something. A big showdown. Okay, can we see this? He's going to put oh, the ball between her feet and he's going to jump off the table and, and score the billiard on the floor. <laughs> when he did it last earlier in the week, yeah. he put the ball next to one of the feet and said he's going to get two rails on the feet. <laughs> and he hit both feet and then he scored the ball. Okay. It was excellent. <laughs> I guess she looks a little worried. She's twiddling her Okay, thumb. jump ball. Hit the ball. Outside, one, two red knots. <laughs> 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 okay, just listen, huh? Because nobody can see. I hope he moves out of the way this time. He so carried right over the ball. <laughs> One more. Yes! Yeah. Right on the button. Beautiful. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, this is sensational. What, what a miraculous week this has been. Like watching a three ring circus. This is the most unbelievable thing I've ever seen in my <laughs> life. Most people, when they jump a ball, they're going to jump over the bridge and draw back to mm -hmm. score the billiard. Well, Sonny's going to hold the cue stick on top of this box. Oh He's going to jump over this cue stick and draw back for the billiard. Oh, look at how the height of that. This, uh, forget about this. This <laughs> is... <laughs> okay, for you people to do the over and under shot what? with the yeah. bridge on the rail. <laughs> yes, this... I mean, this is unbelievable how he hits this. Watch the power. Oh, <laughs> Is that the highest you've ever <laughs> seen the ball on the over-under? <laughs> That's amazing. Ah, uh, that must have been Sonny's fault there. I think he gave the cloth a little scar. Yeah, they, they have to play a tournament game here in a minute, so I uh, hope he doesn't rip the cloth. Well, two of the other tables have already been torn throughout the tournament. That looks like the first one was the best one. Yeah, he's he'll make it. He likes his shot. <laughs> <laughs> I think we suggest putting it sideways. Perfect. We almost got hit with the red ball. 
That was great. Man, yeah, that's like a trapeze artist. What like a powerful make it stroke. Look, uh, make it look harder by missing the first few. I was sweating. Yeah, Sonny was nervous there. Talk to Rails. Rails, 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 Rails. Oh, this is the 30 rail shot? 30 rails, watch this. 3, Three four, five, six, 6, 9, five. 12, oh. 15, Look how fast he's 18, that. 21, 24, 25. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best I've seen on that shot because of the speed. Yeah, he's uh, he really really hits, and it's so hard. Try it's so it much sometime. easier to hit the ball if you go two rails out of the corner. It comes back to you. It's easier to hit it straight. Yeah. But he's hitting the ball as it crosses his <laughs> cue stick, and that is so difficult. This is a beautiful messe. This the uh, machine gun shot that they yes, pull, but with messe rather than force follow. Right. Okay, setting these up, just one ball width away from the rail. Now let's see you sort all these balls back into the proper sets at the end. After this, I, I will make the last shot. This is just to finish the exhibition, okay. but I have one more last. Okay, this is what we call Michigan Massation. <laughs> it's going to hit one, four, rail, 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 four, very, very good. That was a sensational exhibition. I've never seen such security and accuracy on these high difficulty shots. I think he's got one more for uh -oh. us before you. I always finish like this. That is Sunny Saganer, the sensational new Q star from Turkey, giving one of the most unbelievable exhibitions you will ever see. And Sam Lee lifts his hand. The New York crowd goes wild. And Mr. Sunny Saganer takes apart his cue and now goes back to work to try to win this tournament. He's still in running for first place. I'm Bob Byrne. Thanks, Dino. Thank for you, being Bob. Here. And for accurate stats, goodbye for now.